Hey, what do you say, my fellow weekend warriors? I will never forget the first time I had a double smoked ham. My buddy Bob did it in his Weber kettle. Some charcoal, a few pieces of wood chunks. It tasted amazing. So much better than the oven. So today I'm doing mine in my drum smoker. I've got the drum set to 325 degrees Fahrenheit today. That's a little bit hotter than normal, but we're still gonna get a good smoke flavor on it. And then I'm gonna use my vertical pellet smoker to do a sweet side dish, which is gonna pair real nice with this ham. And this ham weighs in at about seven pounds. It is bone in. So this is about a half of a ham. There's a little bone right there. And the beauty of these hams is they're already pre-cooked. So this is cured and smoked. They typically smoke them in hickory, which is what this one is. Today, I'm gonna to be using some cherry wood. I don't need any more hickory on here. I know it's gonna taste amazing. Just a little bit of a fruit wood is what I would recommend. Use your favorite. And you'll see that nice dark color from the smoke. This ham is on the higher end. Uh, this isn't your typical grocery store. I got this from Snake River Farms. Wanted to give that a shot. And so basically what I'm gonna do is make some slits in here. Just run the knife and get in maybe, I don't know, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. The further in you go, the more this is gonna open up. So that's up to you uh, how much you want the ham to open. But by doing this, what it's gonna allow is some more smoke flavor to penetrate in. Cause we're just gonna do this for a short amount of time. So we'll make the cuts this way. And I'm just gonna kind of lean it here, let the knife do the work, and come across and make some cuts this way. And once you have it cut all around, use your favorite rub. I will caution you, these hams are salty, so don't overdo it. Just a little bit of something. All I'm gonna use is some Heath Riles garlic jalapeno. It's gonna give it a little bit of a spice, that kick of garlic. And you'll notice I am not going heavy at all here. Just a little bit. Pat that in. So there's not much more to do with the ham other than to get it in the smoker. Let me show you my setup today. I'll get this lid off of here. And basically what I got, if you don't have a drum, you might not be aware, but you drop a basket of charcoal down there. I have charcoal just on one half. I'm going to keep my ham, my ham over on this side so we're doing indirect heat. So same thing if you got a Weber kettle, indirect heat, coals on one side, and then my meat will go over here. This is a chunk of cherry wood. I'm going to toss this down right now. I'll get the grate in. Let that heat up. We'll burn off any of this residue from the last cook. And uh, we should be good to go in about five minutes. We'll throw it on. And let's talk real quick. What if you wanted to do this in your pellet grill or pellet smoker? I think 325 degrees is too hot. You're not gonna get a deep enough smoke flavor. If you just like a hint of smoke, go ahead. Otherwise, I think you're gonna have to do it at probably 275 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna take you a little bit longer to cook it, but at least you'll get more smoke flavor. And cooking the ham at 325 degrees Fahrenheit in the drum smoker, you're gonna wanna plan for about 15 minutes per pound. So let's see, on a seven pound, that's gonna be 15, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About, about two hours. So it'll take you about two hours at 325. And I thought about doing a glaze on this. A lot of people like to do a glaze. That sweetness goes real good with the saltiness of the ham. But I'm doing a sweet side dish instead. Uh, that's kind of how I like to do it. I want smoke and salty meat here and then a side of sweet, which is what we're gonna get working on in a second here. So let's get this into the smoker. I've got it on a beef jerky rack just to help me get it in and out easier. So we get this lid off. We'll get the ham on opposite side the coals right up here. Get this lid closed. Let's start working on our side dish. And this sweet side dish is very, very Southern. We used to have an aunt from uh, the Carolinas and she would find any reason to serve a dessert as a side, <laughs> which is kind of what this is. And it's really simple, uh, to be honest with you. So we've got pineapple, half a cup of sugar, uh, one cup of panko breadcrumbs, two eggs, a little bit of salt, 
and some melted butter. I'm gonna start by cracking my eggs in here. This way if we get any shells, they're a lot easier to pick out. Cup of the panko breadcrumbs right in. Half a cup of white sugar. This is about 24 ounces of diced up pineapple. And of course my butter that's been sitting out in the sun for too long. So that's a half a stick of salted butter. And then just a little pinch of salt. Salt helps balance everything out. And I have one of these stand mixers. You could do this by hand if you don't have one of these. Go ahead and put the lid down. Lock that in place. Turn it down low. Just let all of this combine. And once it all starts to look like it's pulling together, a little bit creamy, we can shut it off. Just want to make sure those breadcrumbs get incorporated in there. And that's it. Let's get this back up. Take this off of here. Pour it into a 9 by 13. And I don't like to use more dishes than I have to, so I'm just going to use my half cup scoop to push this all down. Just into a nice flat layer. And now this is going to go right into our pellet smoker. I have the smoker set to uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Her recipe was 325 degrees if you're going to do it in the oven. The problem is with this smoker, I only have a 300 or a 350. So these things bounce around, it goes up and down. So 350 for about 45 minutes. You want to turn it halfway so it cooks evenly. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here. Get this door closed. And come on over here, let's check on this ham. And that's starting to look really good, actually. You can see where we made those cuts. It's starting to open up from the heat. And for a pre-cooked ham, you could eat it cold, of course. Uh, but for the best results, you want to get it up to about 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see where we're at. We're at about 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're about halfway there. And this is about the one hour mark, so that's right on time. I'm just gonna go ahead spin this so we're making progress probably another hour in the smoke here at the same time our little pineapple casserole should be done and we'll be ready to cut into this and give it a try And it's been about 25 minutes. Let's check in on our little pineapple dish, see how that's doing. So you'll notice here that it's already changed the way it's, uh, it looked before. Remember it was real runny. Now we've got those eggs cooking in there, the sugar caramelizing, the breadcrumbs soaked up all that juice. So we just want to give this a turn so we get even cooking. It's just like cooking in an oven. The back of your oven is hotter than the front, just because of the door. So give that a turn, and uh, we'll come back probably in a, maybe 25 more minutes, and we should be able to cut all this up and give it a taste. And after about two and a half hours, the ham is done. I lifted that lid, I saw that smoke coming out, that awesome dark color. The ham kind of split open where we cut it, so I knew we got a lot of smoke flavor down in there. Now I've got it out here on my cutting board. I've got my kind of pineapple casserole over here. Let's cut this up and see how it is, and then give it a taste. And I'm gonna go right here past the bone and hope that I miss it. Just run that knife through. Perfect. Split this open, let's get a look. Oh yeah, wow. Look at how juicy that is. That's exactly what you want. You gotta be careful not to dry these things out. And I think we did a good job at that. So now what I'll do is move this out of the way. Flip this on its side. I'm gonna cut it this way. 
you know, all those little burnt ends been calling my name. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. It's cutting very nice. Nice color, smells really good. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I want one of these end pieces. Get some of that. That looks awesome. And I've got my little sweetness here. You know, instead of putting the pineapple on the ham, We've got our little casserole. It's really good and creamy. Put that right next to it. They should be eaten together, like on the same fork. Get some of these caramelized bits. You know what should go right here? Green bean casserole. Yeah, buddy. Maybe I should do a video on that in the smoker. Let me get a bite of this. Got a little bit of ham, a little bit of that pineapple. I want to taste that smoky, salty ham and then just complement it with the sweetness. Here we go. That is unbelievable. Way better than reheating a ham in the oven. If you got a smoker, you got to try it. Hey, if you like what we're doing over here, hit that subscribe button right there and definitely check out one of those two videos right there and I'll see you over there.